Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here in Equestria at War, playing as, of course, Princess Celestia in Equestria. So, last time, we did a couple things, but first I must address this. This is not where we left off yesterday. It's now May 5th, 10.08, and because I played this off-screen, basically started a new game because there was a minor update, and I thought, you know what, we're only one episode in, we might as well just completely restart the campaign. We haven't done an extreme amount of stuff, so, and we might as well play with the most recent patch. So, I just finished Increased Presence in the Crystal Empire, which gave us more political power and less Crystal Empire independence or autonomy gain, which is good. So, that's where we're at. This is what has happened so far. I've not maintained the status quo yet. Uh, I've gone down, of course, got the research slot already, got the two factories, uh, Star Energy for Tall Tale, that sounds like fun, but we're gonna go with maintain the status quo. During these times of change in the world, Equestria must stand firm and hold on to its beliefs. Freedom, friendship, and harmony for all. I believe I did this one in yesterday's video, but as like I said, I just restarted the entire campaign. It wasn't too bad. It took you like 20 minutes, maybe. 25. Really wasn't that bad. But anyways, hope you're having a great day. Right now we have 180 political power, and yes, we have Twilight Sparkle. I'm just going to get and get Raven Inkwell, just so we can get as much political power early game as fast as possible. I could not do any of this, so... I feel pretty good doing this. Raven Inkwell, thank you very much. And now we currently get 0.87. Changings claim Olenio. Well then. Oh, that is, as some might say, not bueno. Uh, just in case. We do that. I do have a couple more divisions here, I think, than yesterday. A couple things. I'm out of fuel. I know. I already know I'm out of fuel. I only get 1.2 a day. But I'd rather spend it right now and get some more naval XP as much as possible. Alenia does not bend? Oh well. Let's see. What else? Watch the West. Of course, watch the Changing Lands. I'm going to go to war with them. If they take me out... Oh, that's good. That's cool. I could become like the Solar Empire or something. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually, but... We'll see what happens, you know? We'll definitely see what happens. Uh, you guys come right there. Good, 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 good. Train if you need to. I'm training. I'm even training my tanks, which is probably a bad idea, but whatever. We have four research slots, which is great. Apparently, I don't have the voice lines voice lines on for this mod, even though it's very very quiet. I did hear some like different sounds that I'm not used to, so I'm not really sure. Maybe maybe not. Um, it is what it is. Sorry, but regardless, we're still here. And let's see. The Reichspact is doing a Reichspact thing. Oh, Concordat of South Southern Nations. Cool. Oh, there's our allies. They even have. Heavy cruisers. Hmm. I should probably try a campaign someday where all I use are heavy cruisers and light cruisers. That sounds kind of like fun. That's the only navy you'll get. No battleships, no battle cruisers, capital ships, or destroyers. Just those two. Or subs. No subs. So we maintain the status quo. Now, what would be best next? Railroads seem pretty good. Thus, Pegasus Toaster Factories, which I think we can do either one. Just we can't do both. Hmm. I like the military factories. And when you win the following. Hmm. Mage Company. Six military factories is nothing to laugh at. That's that's actually quite a bit. Crystal Fair? How about... Diplomatic Shelter? Hmm. We can support Harmony. Why not? We cannot emphasize our support of friendship and Harmony enough. We will forever be the beacon of Harmony to not just our neighbors, but to the entire world. This will ensure peace, prosperity, and equality for every creature. Very good. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, can we get a theorist? No, we cannot. Ooh. Armaments. Uh, Agent of Smile. Mm. That's not bad. Resources to market, not great, though. Filthy Rich. I like the hair, but eh, he's not that great. Prince Blue Blood. Must be the Solar Empire. War Industrialist. He seems pretty good. Popular Figurehead. I like that. I. Oh. 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 More compliance, daily. Oh, well, yeah. Captain of Industry, you know what, I'm probably going to go with that because we can't do anything here, so. Good, build up those civilian factories as fast as possible. Yesterday we left with zero manpower, but whatever. Also, I did, I decided to do my industry techs first, like what we normally do, so it, it is what it is. And I guess we could finally go down this way. Oh, that looks a little different. This looks really awesome. I remember it being like this yesterday. Cool though, awesome. You get 0.87. Yesterday we were able to trade with Skyfall, I've not done that yet. Which, which is okay, which we'll do eventually again. Thrustral Labor Crackdown. The Gua Grand Equestria Pony Summit. I need more factories, definitely. We'll do it like that. I definitely want to make 
carry fighters to do that and then do that. So, you want to read this? Go right ahead. So, the rest of the summer was spent making trade deals, celebrating the local cultures of equestrians in numerous cities, holding speeches on matters of economy and politics, and discussing the events of the world at large. At the end of the event, Princess Celestia held a speech thanking every pony for coming all the way to Candelot and said that as long as the cities of Equestria worked together in harmony, the country as a whole would be a bright and prosperous future, or would have that. Well, I, I like the stability. The stability is pretty darn nice. The war support... Not really nice. Not really nice. Oh, are they moving? What just happened here? Why'd they change? Or is it over here? Hmm. I don't know. Well, the world's... Oh, well, now they're going over here. Changelings invade Olenia. Word has reached us that the changelings have officially declared war against Alenia. While we're not exactly sure on the reasons for war, one thing is for certain, Alenia is in dire straits. Diplomat a diplomatic... Hmm. Protest. Letter of support. Oh! Equestria approves of our intervention? No, I think I'm just going to go with a basic tried and true, or supposed historical-ish route. Where we're going to support harmony, friendship, magic, and what are you guys? Are you guys harmonious? Who are you guys going down the line? We issue a diplomatic protest, in which I'm sure they don't care, actually. Oh, I can't even send volunteers. Oh, man, that sucks. I can't even send volunteers. Well, let's go and do that as well. Improved machine tools. Very good, good, good. Let's see. 108. We could do conversion stuff. Mm, I'm going to go and do that, just because it seems kind of necessary for us to do later. Let's do the Skyfall. We did this yesterday, but like I said, we started a new game. White. They accept. Great. Queen White Star Triumphs. What an odd monarchy. In the Witten's land, Unicorn Elite. That's cool. Still have a little bit of manpower. We need more factories. I just want to see what happens with... Oh. Grand Galpin Gala. Kingdom of Broadfeld is annexed. Prywin, Prywin, Civil War is gone. Uh, the Rex back is... Every time I look over here, it looks a little smaller and smaller and smaller. Anti-hate initiative. Okay. Right now, they're led by Archon. Power to the three. Sounds like fun. Support harmony, which is always good. We can get Buffalo Reactions. The Rightful Monarch. Passive Influence. Stage a coup. Shelter Queen Velvet. Uh, we could do that later. Mm, maybe not, actually. Maybe has a Current party's not harmony. Pinky Envoy. It looks like this could take... We'll do this since I'm not sure if Yak Yakistan will do okay. But anyways, for far too long... We've ignored the Yaks to our north. We will send Pinkie Pie, the element of laughter, to finally establish formal relations with them. She has experience with them from the past, and if things go sour, Prince Blue Blood and Shining Armor will be ready to step in. Uh, it's always good to have a contingency plan, and Alinea is just getting walloped by the changelings. Oh, yeah, God. Queen Chrysalis. Mmm. A nation united. New hives, cool. Construction 2, very cool. We did already get the carrier from yesterday. Uh, let's get some of that one too. Very good. And we. Oh, Pinky Envoy. Two weeks. Super fast. Really good. Support harmony in Yak Yakistan. Let's do Buffalo relations. For far too long, we've ignored the Buffalo question. While we've maintained peace with them after the settlement of Appaloosa. Oh. Huh, it is not a permanent solution. We need to settle this at once. And then I'm going to go down probably this path to get some more civilian factories. Probably. I mean, I love military factories. I would love more, but that actually. The more factories you have, the more factories you get taken away because of consumer goods. 58%. More military factories means less civilian factories, I think. So, Alenia surrenders, we need to put an end to this. Ooh, that's a... Hmm. As some might say, not bueno. We get... Oh, hey! We get at least one political power a day. Oh, we can stop trading with them. Why would I do that? So, do we need... Bonus to industry. Aluminum. Aluminum. Oh, we could use some aluminum. Uh, that's fine. I, I don't want to use two of these at the same time, but for now, it's a little important. Especially since we want to make sure we have enough carrier planes. That's why I'm doing this now. So that we have a nice little stockpile of carrier planes in the future. Good. Mm, I can wait. It's... 10, oh, 08. We need to be 10 10 to, to get that medium tank. Support weapons. And then maybe get some armored cars. Can we get armored cars? Yeah, we can. Good. That'll be good. We're going to need them for later on. You guys are training. Great. There's always people that need to train here. Oh, you guys are. Oh, that doesn't look good. I mean, I love the support companies they have on here, but they don't really need military police. Recon is good. Recon is good stuff. 
Black and white storm declared war on the polar. What the heck is? I don't think is this normal? Holy cow! King Ovar Nujordin. Anti Griffin laws. Black and white storm. Communism outlawed. Okay, okay. Empowered king. Military recruitment campaigns. Trading with Skyfall. Everyone loves Skyfall. Oh, and look at that. Nice. Mm, capture lot. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. 90%. 20%. I usually don't like building on the coast, but it, it's really usually a, a good thing to do. Grover Mines. Albion Aircraft Industry. Nice. This is looking good. I love battleships, but... This is a huge but. We're doing that. Plane lines, let's get some better hurricanes. Nice. I'm gonna throw it on like here. I need more generals. I'll do that soon enough. So Buffalo Relations. Resolve issues with Buffalo people. Accepted friendship. Support Yak Yakistan. Get that. Let's just take the outskirts. Uh, that seems pretty good. We can wait for that though. Hmm. How about Trans Equestrian Railway? With our new industrial capacity with and with conflict looming on the horizon, a new project to build a railway across all of Equestria would surely prove most beneficial to our cause. Princess or Princess Princess Celestia has always spoke or spoken about connecting the entirety of Equestria by rail since its in since its invention. Buffalo problem. So if you want to read this, go right ahead. So but Pinkie Pie is going to try to broker agreement between Equestria, though, and Buffalo. Going alone. It's probably going into hostile territory alone is probably a bad idea. So, of course, while full military occupation and invasion would certainly solve the problem of the buffalo for once and all, even at the cost of losing the moral high ground, an envoy opens the door to both peaceful coexistence and maybe even the integration of the buffalo into the quest itself. There's just one problem with, with an envoy and diplomatic pr propositions and pressure. The buffaloes could always end up rejecting our advances, which would leave us out of options, out of a solution, and out of a good image. But ultimately, a solution must be taken, which we do. Send the envoy. Such militaristic rhetoric does not have a place in our nation. Start the engines, let's get this over with. Oh god, that'd be awesome. That is a odd picture. But cool, we're just gonna send the envoy and see what happens. If they reject us, I'll hopefully we get a war goal against them. Because I will just beat them down. You better accept or I will kill you. Good. So negotiations with the Buffalo Chiefs took a whole day, however. Chiefess Strongheart managed to persuade them to accept our friendship and cooperation. Buffalo and Pony stand united. Good. I didn't want to have to kill you, but if I have to, I will. Ooh. I kind of like this stuff. And this takes how long? 80 days. 80 days. Also, let me know in the comments below. It only takes three civil factories. What should our agency name be? Let me know. And it seems like... Ooh, which one would be best? It seems like maybe this might be best? Oh, no. Smile. Smile. Obviously, Smile. Maybe Smile is a good enough name. Maybe that's a good enough name. Is that a good enough name? Let me know in the comments below. What does Smile even stand for? Uh, you know what? I'm just probably going to go ahead and choose... Just build them all. Just get them done and over with. Good. Good, good, good. Stalingrad and our town. Oh yeah, they'd have a little town up here, didn't they? Broadfield, clear on the Prime Republic. The people are doing stuff down there. Trans, Equestrian Railway. Awesome. We're doing well over here. And Achillean Republic. Golden Feather, or, or I guess a uh, country of Brand Mistria. That's cool. Huh. Dread League, of course. These guys are still fighting each other. They have an encirclement up here, which is looking kind of deadly. Yeah. What's going on up here, man? Like, why are you killing each other so much? Let's get some of these guys as well. That'd be good. What am I doing? Uh, I want to see the war effort. Wow. And the feud, smile, great. Uh, I really don't want to do any of this yet, yet, just because I don't really have the industry for it yet, so. It'll be what it'll be. Yeah, yeah cool. Let's double check the war efforts. Brothers feud, Buffalo Civil War. Wait. Buffalo State, Stronghearts. Oh, hello, you are thunderous. Thunderhooves. Oh, well. Huh. Well, they're definitely doing stuff. The Penguins Polar Bear War. Well, no one's really dying here. A couple people have. Okay, that's interesting. Well, do they not want to be friends, Chief? Oh, you have your own stuff. 
Purchase technology, equestrian trade. Do you want to be friends? Changing invasion. Um. All right, resolve issues with buffaloes. So, friends are stronger together, and this goes for us and the buffaloes as well. We shall invite them to join our nation. However, additional spending might need to be made in order to support the newly acquired state. Yes. Actually, how long does that take to do? Oh, 33 days. About a month. That's not bad. And this is getting done as well, which is really nice. Region-wide integration is okay. We probably need some more guys here. Let's see. Support weapons. Awesome. It's happy 1009, my friend. Let's grab some more research speed. Oh. So if we had to make a choice, we can't go here because we need more war support. Kryponian Empire declare war on... Oh. Peoples. Can't do anything here. I'm probably... Yeah, I'm going to have to go with... Uh, Ministry of Defense soon. I still can't do any of this. Prevent the vote. Search for compromise. Allow the vote of confidence. That's cool. Hmm. Hmm. Ministry of Defense. Changing problem. Yeah, we probably the Urgent War Committee is in a civil war. Oh, man. Formation of the Urgent War. Oh. Water Towner Fighter Competition. They're currently holding trials for a new fi light fighter. According to our air attaché, our newest model is poised to win. A formal request from Water Towner. Water Towner government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security concerns about selling our most modern equipment to a foreign country. Should we permit the sale to go through? Hmm. Yugoslavia, you have a different name this time. Absolutely. You better give us stuff. Good, we resolve the stuff. Southern Roads. Equestria demands the Badlands. I'm joined here with my equestrian cat, Binky. He's taking a good nap, covering his face with his paws. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh! Wait, we can get another research slot? Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Over here. Ooh, we get more political power. Ooh, that war support could be really good, actually. Before we do that, how much war support do we need? 25%? We're at zero? Uh, if we're at zero and we get to ten more, maybe ten more, that doesn't do that much for us, so I'm going to ignore it for now and do Southern Roads. With the integration of the Buffalo tribes in Equestria, it is time with that we made good on our promises and developed the local infrastructure in the area. The ponies and buffaloes will be able to travel more easily between towns and villages, and our local industry will be benefit from, from this as well. Man, I am talking way too fast. I haven't had any Equestrian coffee yet. Whew. Can I raise this up? No, I can't. This is going to kill me. Buffalo Relations Part 2. Last time when negotiations, negotiations were held, the Buffalo Chiefs accepted pony friendship, opened their bounds for pony trade, and accepted pony traders and builders to come into their lands. Now they're landlocked anyway. We need to ask them if they want to become one with us. There's always a better option. Yeah, I like that, but we're doing this like this. Cool, and we get a uh, operative. Wild Wings. Infiltration risk. Aw, oh, yeah. Lucky star. Nice. Well groomed. I like the grooming. Linguist. Let's go rapid amethyst. So, today the buffalo have been integrated into Equestria as an autonomous region where the buffalo are to retain their own rules and tribes, but will have some restrictions placed upon them by Equestria, for example. The traditional use of geckos would not be allowed. In exchange, however, funding and other securities for the buffalo will flood into the region. Some of this includes the oil fields and iron mines below the buffalo region, which Equestrian prospectors have been very eager to open up. With the strong guarantees by the crown, this treaty is sure to give dividends for all. Now, that's probably going to put us here. Integrated? Oh. Oh, wait, we just... It said annex, so I thought we would just... We didn't get a... Hey! Very nice. And you guys, I'm not, I'm not going to delete you, actually. I'm just going to convert you. Nice. We need more than 10% war support. Oh my gosh. Well, if that's the case. Let's see, can I do anything here? Naval stuff. Ooh, HP armor and HP for capital ships. God dang, that's kind of nice. Naval research speed. Plane stuff. What about the army stuff? Oh, we really can't do very much here. Ooh. How about decisions? Eh, not really. Not really that much we can do here. Material designer. Motorization. I'm going to go with this. Industrial stuff. That would be nice. Good. Oh, we had a little bit of fuel, too. Oh, we got some more. Do we, did they have fuel down here? Oh, they did! Oh, that's great. Oh, I love fuel. Fuel is such a good thing. Yo, reactorate? Rectorate. Rectorate. Good. So we have plenty of equipment for now. Maybe except for, you know, light tanks. 
Um, you guys are looking pretty good. I'm going to get these early fighters out some... Uh, never mind, I'm not going to get them out because I'm out of manpower. You guys go ahead and train as well because you can. We have 228 naval XP. That's good. Very good, very good. Yeah, motorized is, even motorized is looking pretty darn good right now. We need more factories, which isn't ideal, but whatever. Uh, do that. Do that. Go ahead and convert them if you want. I don't really care. We need two more factories. Do that for now. Convert the light tanks, make them best. Make sure the bolt action rifles are really, really good, because we might as well. Wow, 2% war support, that's a lot. How are our ships doing? So, we have a battleship. Uh, I did split this up a little bit differently than yesterday as well. Um, I'll just I guess I'll go there, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. That was a 9. Get some reinforced rate radio is pretty important to do. Let time go on. Southern Roads. We have another six divisions. Awesome. Good. 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 Making six. Trying to make more. Oh, we got actually quite a few Coast Guard divisions. Actually, that's really good. We need 28 in total, which is not bad. We're not mobilizing anymore, which makes sense. And Angrafer is gone. Next up. Subsidize State University. Southern Resources. Oh, my goodness. The Dragon Question. Take back the Badlands, Southern Naval Bases, Jungle Railway. Yeah, S Stable Side, State University. There's still much potential in our Southern lands. More development there will yield an educated youth and more research opportunities. Stable Side is a perfect location for establishing the universities. Absolutely, my friends. Now, let's see, Treatment of Skyfall, Stagnation of Harmony. Skyfall Republic, huh? How do I get rid of that? Stagnation of Harmony. Stagnation of Harmony. Sombra supporters. Protect Olenia. Well, that's a little late. Establish an embassy. Guarantee independence. Let's see. Magical studies. Magic nuclear power. Equestrian weapon of mass destruction. War plan. Connect war plan. Or eradicate bureaucracy. Oh, there it is. Eradicate bureaucracy. Oh, what am I doing? I should go focus on that. But we need to do this. We need to get this, as well as this, which go up here. But to go up there, we need urgent war committee, which we need to be in a civil war, and in a defensive war against enemy country that's considered a major. And we need quite a bit of surrender progress. Hmm. Alright, well, Vickers Wellington. Pretty cool. Let's grab some of these. That'll be important. So time go on. Good. Tactical bombers. Better, better, better. Make sure the light tanks are doing well as well. Getting some naval bomb, naval carrier naval bombs, I should say. That is very good, very, very good. Oh, we've got five. Oh, we need, we really need ten. So I can remove the things off some of these guys. Elite Buffalo Warband. Well, that's not really elite in my opinion. Young Warband is pretty pathetic. These guys are actually okay. The garrisons are not great. They're okay. You guys are... I'll take off the military, please. And then convert them, because you guys only have engineers. You're only 14... Oh my gosh, you're only 14 combat with. That's really not good either. Communism is banned wing Bardi. Well, could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Alright, good, 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 good. You guys looking great. You guys looking great. Long day in weather. Send our condolences. Oh, the Griffonian Empire is looking pretty okay. Led by Archon, of course. Having a good time, and they immediately go to war with Bethesia. Bethesia. Well, let's see if they can win. Oh, hold on. Military training. Ooh, is that worth it? 25 political power? Oh, I'll never do this one, so let's try it. Oh, that just automatically gives us stuff. Nice. Actually, that's really good for us. Grand battle plan. Good. Uh, Royal Guards. Before I mess that up. Normal Imp. First. I'm going to call him first just because I'm going to do it like this. Because I might want to save this group if we don't have armored cars yet. Because I'm going to take this off. We'll see what happens. Let's see. Uh, Royal Guard. <sighs> Maybe not. You know what? Hmm. Just take, take off the recon at least. If you want to be guards, that's fine with me. 
But now everyone here is going to be the same. Good. Royal Guards. Occupied territories. You're going to use the Royal Guards because they have... They should have the military police on there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Nice. Got plenty of more support equipment. Hmm... I do want recon, but just I don't have any manpower. Oh. How much artillery do we have? We could save on manpower if we make a ton of artillery. Just gobs and gobs of artillery. Eh, well, it's, we could save on artillery, but that means we produce less guns, which is fine with me, actually. What if we did it like that? Make more artillery for now. If, if these guys are 20 combat with already, and I changed them, like 20 combat with 10 infantry battalions, and I changed them to uh, artillery, 7-2, then that'd be okay. But right now, nah, it's good. It's okay. I'm going to go free trade, but that's not really worth it right now. And here we will do motorized rocket artillery, research speed. Philadelphia Motors, huh? Hmm. Oh, Wonderbolt, why not? Six. Awesome. Ministry of Defense. When in the light of recent developments, it is best to revive the equestrian Ministry of Defense from ages past. We cannot remain unprepared given Crystallis' recent aggressive rhetoric, nor can we ignore the possible threat of Stalingrad. Yeah, I forgot about them. Yeah. Two for war probably wouldn't be very good for us. Probably not. A little more decryption power. Ah, fifth research slot. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. As we're building this up more, 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 and more, which I love, 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 love. Chippies, no one else is here. We are led by Madur Stronghammer. Awesome. Oh, Sea and Sky. Nice. Gloucester Sea Gladiator. Hmm, empty tank. Turn, turn, eh? That's a. Hmm, maybe. I'm thinking about it. maybe. Let's get one of these. Nice. Good, 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 my friends. So at least our carriers will be okay. Our land units will probably get absolutely destroyed, but you know, whatever. Good. Keep training, keep training. Especially those guys that we just converted. So, I'd rather have them 14 combat width than 6, because 6 really isn't that good. But I'm sure I didn't have to tell you guys that. we we'll probably get a couple more generals, too. Why does it cost so much? We only have four generals, and one of them is a field marshal. These guys are still killing each other. The Arctic Empire? Oh, that's a really cool hat. New doctrines. How strong are you? Five to ten divisions? That's a lot of manpower. And you have... Oh. Oh, you have no divisions. Okay, then. Wildfire. What type of template are these guys even? 16? That's not too bad. Uh, I can't really speak to this, but cool. Griffonian Empire still hanging on. Still hanging on. Uh, I'm loving that naval XP so much. 0.4 a day is awesome. Just real awesome. Soon enough we will have decryption frequency analysis done as well. And the Crystal Empire is with us, which is good. Bronze Hill, good. So we'll get political power, army XP, gain base war support, which would be actually really nice. It's 4% right now. So we might be able to do a little more with it. Oh, because civilian factories are just such garbage. We get faster construction speed for infrastructure. I didn't know that. That's cool. Ministry of Defense. Awesome. Changeling problem. Gain more war support. Border protection plan. Fallback. Puppet against them. Okay. Airfields, which is okay. Airfields, which is okay. War support. We need 25%. It'd be kind of a waste to go down here. A little bit. Not too much of a waste. How do I get as much war support as possible? We can't do this yet. Changing problem. Hmm. I love six, six military factories, but let's go with this one. Las Pegasus Toaster Factories. While certainly not famed for military production, the city of Las Pegasus is very much an oasis for civilian industry. We should encourage further growth by investing in factories that already produce many consumer goods for civilian po populace. Yes, yes, yes. The Tripartite Union, huh? Never heard of things like that before. Never, ever, ever. Never. You know what? Let's go with Philadelphia Motors. Because we can. 
Nice. So far, we're doing pretty well building ourselves up. This is very good. How much rubber do we get? Quite a bit, actually. That's pretty good. It's quite good. Funny Empire. How have... Oh, they even... Ah, oh, that's a tripartite. Ah. Tripartite. Cool. River Coalition's looking pretty huge. Yeah, Ponies of the Lines. Decryption. Great. It's almost 10-10, so... Changing operative capture. We have ways of making you talk. How dare you. Great. Eh, well, I'm, at least we're defending for now. Wait. This operative has Von Hoovery nationality giving bonuses? Oh! Equal nationality? Stalingrad. Wow, we chose a great operative. We chose a really, really good operative. Holy cow. That's awesome. 1.1 1. 1 a day. Awesome. 1 a day. This could be okay to use. Uh, I guess it's not worth much, but, you know, we can still use it. 14% war support. Please let the world burn more and more and more and more. We only have 99 factories. Provoking the Empire is doing pretty darn well. Stalingrad, what are they up to? Socialist culture. No. Well, oh, wait. Oh, wait. New factories up here. We got a little bit of radio detection. We're going to get some more radio stuff for now. We get some polyalphabetic ciphers. The Empire's taking a while to get down. Are they fighting a border war? Oh, they are. Sverdrup. That's cool. Encryption, polyalphabetic ciphers, like I said. Happy 1010, my friends. Let's grab some dispersed industry. Good. Even more civilian factories. Good. Good, good, good. Changing problem. I guess it's just a little bit more war support. Oh, can we not do this one? Oh, I can't do that one yet. This one's okay. Crystal Fair sounds like fun. Me, Amora, Dynasty Plane. So it's down there. Okay, so we can really build up them if we really wanted to. <clears throat> if we really wanted to. Dragon Question, Southern Naval Bases. Eh, that's not bad. We get a couple dockyards, too. Hmm. Hmm. Magical Studies. Land Auction? Oh, and someone also mentioned don't, not to forget about my race text, which I totally did. I'll be honest, I totally forgot about my race text, but whatever. I'll get there. I will get there eventually. Strengthen their authority. Lose daily political power. That's not me, man. That's not me. I'm going to go with the changing problem, though. Queen Chrysalis and her changeling army have a long thorn in her side. They have attacked us once, and they will surely do it again. We must be prepared. We have several options to implement before an actual war breaks out. Yes. Oh, we get a military factor down there, too. That's good. Hmm. This is probably a really bad idea, actually, but... Hmm. Could be worse. Could be much worse. But now we need way more manpower. Well, maybe not way more manpower, but a lot more manpower. Yeah. That's a lot more manpower needed. And communism. Griffonian democracy. They're, they are free of the old empire's shackles. Ah, uh, Alexander, you are... special, what we will say. Alright, next up. Uh, naval stuff, I suppose. That's fine. Naval speed. Ooh, less armor? More range and deck size. I like the deck size, but still. Ooh, screens. Now nah, we're gonna go with this one. Baltimore Designs. Haven't made any more ships yet. We can't deploy the carrier because we don't have enough pony power. God dang it. Uh, oh, we need more aluminum soon, too. Building ourselves up quite nicely, not gonna lie. Quite nicely. How's a changeling navy like? Fascist. They don't have a carrier, which is good to see. I mean, we have one. Good. Basic armored cars that'll help with that stuff. Let's get some motorized rocket artillery. Let's actually use them maybe in this campaign. Changing problem. We have 16% war support. Nice. We get 5% more war support right there. Yeah, common enemy. So, Queen Chrysalis is, scheming, is a scheming villain with every intent of conquering everything that stands in her path. We know this, and we shall make sure that the other nations of Equus know this as well. We get 5% more war support. I'm really trying to get more war support now. Obviously. Because I want to at least get to partial mobilization. I don't want to get to early mobilization. That seems like a waste of political power, to be honest with you. You get 5% more consumer goods. You can build things 20% faster. But partial mobilization, we need 9% more war support.
Oh, free northern communes. Huh. How do we... Oh, now it's 18. That's good. And this will give us five. And this only takes three weeks to do, which is good. And... Ah, common enemy. For border fortification plan, we get just a tiny, tiny bit more war support, just enough that we need. So the changelings have been increasingly aggressive towards their neighbors, a question included. In light of this, we must commence fortification efforts along the common border. While our military experts do not think it will ensure victory on its own, it will be a delay until we can arouse the rest of Equestria. Pretty much. I'm saving up my political power so that I can get here. Oh, wow, that actually hurts your daily political power gain. Wow, I did not know that. We get 25%, so we get 10% more consumer goods to use. We can actually get a bonus to building military factories, which would be great. Total mobilization really hurts your daily political power, which makes sense. Which actually makes quite a bit of sense. Good, if we're building ourselves up, build, 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 build my ponies. And I will try to remember race tax. I will try to. I will try to. The pony empire is doing a pretty good job. Hopefully they can keep it up. And kill each other off with a river coalition. Uh, Arctic Empire is doing a great job as well, but they're fascists, which is not good. Watertown Bomber Competition is the same thing, basically. We can do that. It's fine. Awesome. Fallback line. More war support. Yeah, let's see if we can grab the thing first. What? No, we have been demilitarized. No. I don't know. We get... We get this... We get enough political power fast enough, and I'm starting running out of things to do with it, so just god dang it, do that then. Ugh. Terrible. Star Energy for Tall Tale. Star Energy Corporation announced that it is planning to expand its branches in the city of Tall Tale. In the light of recent events, the equestrian government considers modernization and growth of weaponry production a top priority task. Hence, the expansion and the further development of the arms factories in the region will be funded from the state budget. And we'll, maybe we'll do some um, crystal fair soon, too. Awesome. Stop trading. I don't think I will. We give a little bit more of this. We only get six more in exchange for three civilian factories. Well, that's not bad. It only takes a hundred days. Whew. But that's that's pretty much worth it at this point. And then we'll start building up our military quite a bit more. I'm going to do do that for now. That'd be fine. Is there anything else? Artillery is looking not too bad. Construction three. There we go. Probably a bad idea to do that, but whatever. Great. Now everyone should be training at this point, probably. And give it a little bit of time for them to realize their deficits. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Go and grab that too. Must get more radar too. How are you guys holding up? Tanks are looking pretty good. There's still light tanks. Whatever. Artillery. We have quite a deficit, but it's not as bad as it used to be. And at least now our divisions are aiming to be 20 combat width, which is good. And there goes a. Oh my goodness. That looks like a big old enemy we might have to fight eventually. Hmm. Hmm. That's not bueno. Now we're making some armored cars. That's really good too. Armor, royal armor. Mission designer. Uh, just nice. Manhattan line. Spitfire research. That's cool. I get another military factory, which we had reused. Pretty well. It takes 49 days, which isn't that bad. Crystal Fair? We might as well do a Crystal Fair, right? So, the Crystal Fair is an ancient tradition of the Crystal Pro Ponies, and it would be a great honor for us to organize this year's celebration. It will be a sight to see the history of the Crystal Ponies celebrated. Great. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate this. Armored. Royal Guards. Good. And that's been made. And we're going to convert these guys, actually, to armored cars. Nice. So how many do we need? We need 180 per division. Interesting. Get some more fuel first, too. Armored cars, you say? Occupy territories. Well, we have nothing there yet, so we might as well do that first. That's for the future. That, my friends, is definitely, definitely for the future. Uh, Naval-wise, so no manpower... Falcor surrenders to wing body. Makes sense. Can I raise my conscription level? No. Hmm. Partial mobilization. Well, how many... That's not bad for factories. Iron bomber competition? Absolutely. Sure, why not? That's fine. You okay, Binky? Yeah, taking a nap. Good boy, good boy. 
Just trying to get through this as fast as possible. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. That's fine. Crippling Empire, you're finishing them up. Strawberry Duchy was annexed. So, I've only 23 guys here. How much manpower do we need now? Casually need about 60,000 more ponies. 60,000, that's alright. I don't want to read numbers, so I'm going to assume 60,000. Oh, there they go. Finally, they capitulated. Griponia Empire is looking pretty good. And the fall of Yak Yakistan. It's down. Jackie Clan is here. The Khan is far away. Do you want to be friends? I have a feeling they don't want to be friends. I could be wrong, though. But when they have negative modifiers, that doesn't make me feel good about myself. Or at least about Equestria. But hey, look. 31% war support. Not bad. For the love of God, please let me change that. Yo, uniform, uniform designer. Tanks, I suppose. Heavy tanks. Armor. Reliability. Heart attack. I'll go with that one. Catherine. Oh, they went to war with it. That's probably the worst time you could go to war with those guys. Prince Valti or Catherine. That's probably one of the worst times. Prepare defense. Good. Um, Grand Assault. You know what? Which way should I go? Infiltration. Oh, that's pretty good for breakthrough for leg infantry. Infiltration Assault for less supply consumption. That looks really good as well. Infiltration in depth. Get more recon for your recon. More mobile. Only firepower. Army breakthrough plus 10% there. That's pretty good. Max planning. So let me know. Which path should I go? Assault or infiltration? With our land option. I, I'm actually open to either one. Especially I like the, the breakthrough on both sides. I really like But I like the supply consumption on the infiltration. But unfortunately that's where we're going to have to end it for today my friends. We will resume this tomorrow. Let's go and choose our next research thingamabob, in which we will choose that, and we'll do our focus tomorrow. Thanks, Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we choose another focus and prepare for an, 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 an inevitable war. Have a great rest of your day.